In this tutorial, we are going to review the setup options for employees. Select the Employees module to expand the menu and then click Options. In the Payroll Options area, you will see that Drake Accounting defaults to use U.S. Department of Labor rules to calculate payroll. This option will automatically force the federal minimum wage rules if the employee is getting paid less than federal minimum wage and the employee is flagged as a tipped employee. This same principle is applied to the state and local level when you select Adhere to State Local Minimum Wage. You can also select Suppress Display of Terminated Employees, Store All Overtime Pay Separate from Regular Pay, Suppress Check Stub Printing for Direct Deposit, and Combine Multi-Location Checks. Set the default overtime and holiday factors by entering the amount and then select Apply to All Employees. For example, if employees receive double time for holiday pay, enter two in the holiday factor field, then select Apply to All Employees. Use the Employee Reports options to establish the withholding reporting threshold. Enter the dollar amount for the withholding difference threshold for reports. You can also activate the option to add a location or division header on reports run for a single location or division. Now let's move on to the Employer 401k Match Options section. Two tier match options are available. Within this box, enter the percentage the employer will contribute of the employee contribution. If the employer is matching dollar for dollar, enter 100%. If the employer is not matching the employee's contribution, enter 0%. If the plan design has only one tier, enter zeros in the second tier. Select whether the maximum percentage is of the employee's earnings before taxes, gross wages, or after taxes, net wages. Please note the IRS determines the deduction limit and catch-up limit if the government changes these amounts, or if you bring a client forward from a prior year, you will need to manually update them. Let's take a look at the journal type. Drake Accounting will automatically post payroll transactions to the journal if you select Generate Accounting Transactions. Select one of three ways to post transactions to the journal. If you select Post Detailed Payroll to the Journal, Drake Accounting creates a separate journal entry for each payroll transaction. Please note that bank reconciliation will only work with detailed payroll. You can alternatively choose to post cumulative payroll to the journal where all employees are combined into one set of entries with all pay periods rolled into one set of entries or post combined payroll to the journal, which combines all employees into one set of entries, but each check date gets its own set of entries. Using the drop list, select to which journal the transactions will post. If you maintain a chart of accounts for this client, you will need to complete the GL Account Numbers tab that allows you to tell the software which accounts you want to use for payroll. Next, under Sick and Vacation Options tab, you can have Drake Accounting track sick hours and or vacation hours. Select to enable the desired tracking and rollover hours. Select the accrual method from the drop list and complete the additional fields that populate based on the accrual method selected. Form Options is the final tab within the Employee Options module. Sort relays to the forms where there's an employee list. You have the option to sort by last name, first name, or social security in ascending or descending order. Next is print options. Enable or disable the function to automatically skip blank pages when printing forms. After all options have been entered, click save. For more information, visit accounting.drakesoftware.com.